Hey there, I just want to give you a little quick demonstration of what I've been working on for the status box. Um, and this right here is basically the only thing that's going to be displayed in the status box, because if you're familiar with that, it just shows you a little bit. So in any event, let's say um, you decide you want to put, you start a $50,000 account and your margin that you have to work with, which also is known as your auto liquidation threshold, uh, and some of these prop firms is $2,500. And then the next margin limit, the goal, um, not sure I'm going to call that just yet, but let's just say $3,000 because that's rules change at that point. And I always want to show you when you're dealing with the realized um, P&L, how the calculation works. Now, this is all behind the scenes. The only thing that you have, this would be the settings here. So you'd have your, your start and your account changes and sizes and things like that uh, and then you would have the ability to change from um, you know uh, enable a, a button that says uh, realized or unrealized so in this case I just want to start with realized and you can see here I've got some uh, trades in the background that were that I was testing <clears throat> and so you can see here we start with the fifty thousand dollars and my opening price is twelve six eighty two and the closing price is six seventy six seventy five so there was a $100 uh, loss on that. So your P&L, again, I'm only dealing with realized. And so that's going to display here because we've got selected realized. So your status box on your chart is going to display this balance. So you can see you've got, um, you know, you lost uh, $108.98. And this does incorporate the commissions there. So I'm not going to worry about this yet because this relates to uh, re unrealized. So so now we go to the next trade. I'm just going to do four here to make things simple. Um, and the next trade then is 703. So this was a $400 winner, uh, and uh, your max your max peak in your your day was 421. You know after commissions and your threshold, and then you go back. You notice you went from $2,500, but then you drop your balance was 2391 and now that you've won this trade uh, your balance now remains back again to uh, 25 and then you take the next trade and it's 707.75 and 12.704 and so now you've dropped back down and now you're under the $2500 threshold so now it drops down and this is what your balance is which would be displayed right here that's what you have to work with and then the finally the last trade 707.25 701.75 um, and now you've got you lost another trade, so now your balance is down to uh, 2304, and and that will continue. I'm not going to keep doing it, but this just all comes from within Ninja Trader. So now, let's uh, with with unrealized. If I were to look at an unrealized situation, you need to have. So now it's going to display that. You need to have one more component, and that's the intra trade peak or the high. So in this case, what I've done is I've used the open price and the MFE, which is the maximum favorable excursion, and that's the price. So I'm going to say the highest this price went during the course of this trade was to that high. Even though you got in here, it went to a high there, and you got out there. <clears throat> so you could see here, that on a unrealized, uh, on a realized, you're only dealing with these two. It only doesn't matter what it does in the middle of a trade. All it cares is about the bottom line. And this one, though, however, it does uh, count that. So your high was 707, and you elected not to take it. But needless to say, it went to 707. And so therefore, now your balance is uh, that would display here in the status box uh, is 1891, and you could see the difference between the two as a side-by-side -side comparison. So let's move forward and go to the next one. Now, the next one's high was 13,251.75. And you got out at 12,703. So there's a big difference there, uh, but it's a winning trade. So now you go back to the 2,500 because you're exceeding some numbers. So now the next one comes in, and this high of the intra-trade um, is that. So you lost $75, but uh, you could see how it went way up to $752. You opted not to take it, and then you you know got stopped out right here at $704. But again, needless to say, it's using at the peak. 
And so it behave it behooves you to have targets in any type of uh, unrealized calculated account that you might be using because um, they're going to use that high. So now you see your balance is down there because you didn't take your money. You basically had the money at your fingertips, but you didn't take it, so you lost it. So now your balance between the two is significantly different. And then um, the final trade, and you can see here your balance is 507 because, again, you went up to 752.75 was the high. So I went up to 72.50, oh, 25, not 75, so pretty much the same area, kind of like a double top or whatever. And and then you didn't get, and then you got popped out right here, losing some more. But basically, again, it's going to take that 752 as its high. And so now you can see how between the two, you've dramatically, in just four trades, just have $500 left to play with on this unrealized calculation versus a realized calculation so a big difference there this is basically the only thing you're going to see right here is this display so you'll see on the display a 50704 and i could show you just what that will look like once you install status box you would come down here and it would just pop on right here i have it set for alt one because that's my left thumb and my left finger so anyway come to drawing tools because it is a drawing tool and just plop it on right there and then when it turns into a pencil and you just draw it now, it doesn't matter where you click, it's going to pop it over here because my defaults uh, are set for the corner where I like it. But, you know, you move it around. So, and if you click the corner, um, you'll be able to get to the settings. You can see if you don't want to plot financials, you can turn those off. If you don't want to plot your ATM, et cetera, et cetera. So, if you, you know, if you don't want to see certain things. Anyway, so that's, the, and you can change colors and sizes and fonts. And this is where you would change the uh, XY margins and things like that. So, in any event, this is where we're at. So what I'm thinking is we'll probably stick the uh, this new category right there. So I can just show you real quick here. Um, let's say you're cruising along and you want to you take a trade. And I'll just sell it. So let me just get out. Um, I'll just close positions here. I probably should have done that. All right, close. So you can see here on this, I have no more unrealized. And I lost $8 because I have commissions set up in here. I took one, well, and actually it's one contract, but in this case, one trade is one contract, so that's fine. You could see that it went against me. My maximum adverse excursion was 20 ticks. My favorable excursion was 10. T is for ticks, and then you have your overall account. So if I did it again, and uh, you could see right here, we've got five seconds into this trade. Um, again, the 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 account is, I'm on a playback account, so you'd have to make sure, it comes from here. And so you can see I'm down, 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 and it's not going to calculate your, your numbers here until it gets finished. So I'm going to close this. And so now uh, I'm out of the trade, so no time, no direction, um, nothing uh, is open, unrealized is nothing. My realized now becomes 92. There's my stats and the realize is negative 92 for overall. Now, as I say, if I had another, if I traded over here with crude, then those numbers would be different. I, I would have this instrument on this chart would be $92, but my realized P&L for the overall account would be more or less depending on whatever I did on that other chart. Uh, just go to tools and status box right there. It's all right there, it tells you a little about it. Now this version is not available, so if you want to uh, sign up right here, put your email in there for status box updates and things like that, then you would get updates when this is available, but it's not there yet. But anyway, I just want to show you for the people who are testing this right now, and uh, this is this is where we're going with it, and that's what I want to do with it. And then ultimately, this is going to go in the Discipline Manager, um, where you'll be able to do, because right now the Discipline Manager already has unrealized and realized options in it. All right, that's all I got. Thanks.